Hey, Polo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about this is my bolo. And what is that? That is where I gather up some YouTubers or people that have eBay stores and they share a bolo with you. But I'm not telling you the bolo, they are. So I'm gonna be featuring them. It's gonna be anywhere from a 60 second and maybe a little more, a little longer on some of them bolo video from each of them. They're going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for with some additional information to help you learn. These videos are some of my favorites because you get to meet new people. I will link them down in the description, YouTube channels, and eBay stores. Go and subscribe to them. Follow their eBay stores. They are a wealth of knowledge. But before we get started with their bolos, I wanted to share two of mine with you. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. amazing, right? All right, let's get started. I picked these items up at the Goodwill bins. So I probably have a buck to $2 in them, depending on the weight. And these items, I kind of picked up thinking they may do well. They may sit for a while. I wasn't really sure, but I thought they were cool. So that's why I'm going to share them with you today. The first item is this recipe box. And I know that recipe boxes can be a bolo, especially if they're stuffed full of old recipes. Mine was empty, but it had this amazing Christmas graphic on it. And this was pretty lightweight. So I'm guessing this was around a dollar. I sold this for $42.25 and the buyer paid shipping and it sold pretty quickly. This is what it looks like. Now the second one is an item that I usually pass by, but it was in a Ziploc bag with the manual and the remote. And I thought, you know, I'm going to get this. It's worth a shot. It'll be something different for my channel. And it sold really quick. I was pleasantly surprised when I looked up comps. It is a vintage Magnavox CDB 473 CD comp compact disc player remote with the instruction manual. Now, could I have parted it out? Yes. Would I have made more? I don't know. I didn't do that much research on it. I decided to sell it together and it sold very quickly for $46.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is what my main photo looks like. So there's a couple items you may or may not know about, but you know, when you can pick it up at the bins for a dollar or two and flip it for over $40 in my book, that is a bolo and the items sold pretty quickly. So we are, uh, those are my bolos. Now I'm going to share with you some more. So stay tuned and let's get started. Hello, everybody. My name is Jerry and I'm the Jersey Shore Thrifter. And this is my bolo. This is a very vintage hockey mask, a goalie mask to be specific. Rather beat up. As you can see, old, crusty, straps are all dry rotted. Doesn't look like much except for it looks a bit creepy. I saw this at an estate sale and I knew I had to have it. I was charged $1 for this mask. Looking up comps on these types of masks, I saw that some sold for very good money. I'm talking six to $700. So I wasn't sure of the value of mine. I put it up on auction starting at $149.99. Within 24 hours, I had eight bids and the price had gone up to $305. Of course, at that point, I knew I was onto something special. It sat that way for the rest of the week until the very last day when the price started to climb again. And when the auction finally ended a week later, it sold for $515.53 plus shipping. The buyer paid within a couple of hours. And I even actually got a message after the sale from another buyer who said he had bid unsuccessfully on it. And if the sale did not go through, if the buyer didn't pay, he would be more than happy to pay for the mask and get it himself. Of course, the total at that point had already been paid for, but I appreciated the interest. In any case, old hockey masks, scary looking things like this, they will definitely sell and bring you good money. So keep your eyes peeled. Thanks, Courtney. Have a nice day and thanks for watching. Hi, Courtney, this is Lynn from Halen Vintage. And first I wanna thank you always for hosting this and helping all of us find all of these great bolos. My bolo that I want to share with you today is 
If you grew up in the 90s or you have a child that grew up in the 90s, then you probably heard of the comfy couch. All of these characters, pick them up. I found a Molly doll at a church rummage sale for $1.00. It sold in a couple of days for $84. Those McDonald's drive throughs the play sets, the big ones, even if they're missing doors, they don't work, they still sell for decent money. I found one on Marketplace for $15 and I still flipped it for $95. The buyer paid for shipping on both items. Thank you so much, Courtney. Have a great day, everyone. This was Lynn from Halen Vintage. Stay retro, my friends. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah, our Childhood Finds on YouTube, and today the bolo I'm bringing you is ephemera. More specifically, antique postcards. So I bought this shoebox full of antique postcards. We're talking early 1900s to, and 1910s postcards. And I probably have two to three dollars into the whole entire box. I've listed only about 20 of them, and I've already sold three in the last two weeks and I've already almost made $70 on them. So here's a couple of them. Two of them were Lake Tahoe postcards and one was a Hollywood postcard, and I stand to make hundreds upon hundreds in this box. So I strongly recommend Ephemera. It's an awesome category. Thanks everyone and thanks Courtney. Hi everybody, I'm Debbie and I'm Basket Case Mama Fab Finds on all platforms. And thank you, Courtney, for letting me do this. I really appreciate it. Um, and I had a bolo this month. It was a little unexpected. I had this cute little French bulldog. And he's by Carter's. He's really small. I have about less than 50 cents into him. He came in a bag with uh, some other plush that I got at Goodwill. And he was listed for $70 because that's what the sold comp said. And I accepted an offer of $50 on him. And literally, he's this big, about seven inches maybe. So he went to a happy home. The girl was really happy to have him, but that was my bolo for May. So I just wanted to share. Thanks so much, Courtney, for letting everybody do this. I so appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. Hey, bolo buddies. I'm Valerie, also known as Serene Dreams on eBay and whatnot. And my bowl for today is a pair of glasses from a brand called Lunore. I spotted these glasses at a thrift store nearby for $2. And they just looked something special, so I picked them up, then looked at comps, and saw that they're very expensive glasses. So I priced them at $400 and took a best offer of $290 within two weeks. So yeah, look out for Lunar. It's a good brand. Hi, it's Wendy with Nina's Jewels, and this is my bolo. We found these Mattel Hot Wheels race tracks at a garage sale. We tried to put it all together to see if we had all the parts and pieces for it and realized we were missing one piece. And I was just so crushed because I had already comped it and I had seen that it sold for like $150. But my husband was like, well, let's just part it out. But that ended up working out even better because we immediately started selling parts. The first sale that we had was the two straight track pieces that sold for $38.68 on offer to buyer. The next thing that we sold was two listings to the same buyer, and that was the two curved in tracks and the main launcher piece. And that sale sold for $99.98, which was our full asking price. We still have these switcher tracks to sell, and we still have a trestle to sell. So we will make well over $150 that we originally thought that we would be able to get for the track. Definitely be on the lookout for parts and pieces from this set, which is called the 2008 Mattel Hot Wheels 3 Lane Super Speedway. Well, this was my Bolo, and check out our YouTube channel, Nina's Jewels. You can also find us on eBay at Nina's Jewels and on Instagram at Nina's Jewels LLC. 
Hi, Courtney. It's Karen with Noni's Treasure House. First, I want to thank you for doing this, but I also want to thank you for all the videos you put out. They're so educational. The content is so helpful in my reselling, and I just wanted you to know how much I appreciate it because I know it's a lot of work. This month, my bowl comes from the Goodwill bins. I actually found a German World War II canteen. This one had a green cap, which turned out to be Bakelite and also rare. The quick research I did at the bins showed me that, but I couldn't find any comps. But for 79 cents or so, what it would cost me, I went ahead and brought it home. When I got home, I decided to put it on auction for $99.99 with best offer. Within 20 minutes, a gentleman messaged me and offered me an offer of $120. He also gave reasons why he felt it was worth that. I went to his eBay store and actually looked up his listings and he had a bunch of World War II artifacts. And I thought, you know what, I don't know a whole lot about this, but I bet he'll really appreciate it. So I went ahead and took his offer. Thanks so much. Courtney, this is Amber from Picker Money Flipper, eBay and YouTube. And these are my bolos. The first bolos I have are these two fiber optic um, blow molds, the Snowman and Santa Claus with the original box. I paid $40 a piece, so $80 in total. These both sold for $140 a piece plus $39.95 to ship for $179.95 a piece. And these two are going to the same buyer. And this sold also in 24 hours. These sold less than 24 hours. Mm -hmm. I bought this Pendleton and Crane dentist chair and I paid $5 for it at a garage sale and it sold for $165.96 and $68.95 to ship for a total of $234.91. So this is my bolos. Thanks for watching. Bye. I am Sandra, also known as Piece of Scrap on eBay and YouTube. I'm here with my bolo and it is a Coliseum baseball jersey from the 1990s. This is UNLV. University of Nevada, Las Vegas, size extra large. It has the Running Rebels patch on the sleeve and then the patch on the lower front. I paid $3.75 for this at Goodwill. It sold for my full asking price of $155 and the buyer did pay shipping on Poshmark. Again, I'm Zandra, piece of scrap on YouTube. Subscribe for more What Sold on eBay. Hey Bolo Buddies and Toy Addicts, this is Jody from Toy Addict and this is my Bolo. This is a Barbie from 1969. I found her at an estate sale for $20. She was basically new in her box. The box is open, but she looks completely unplayed with inside. She is one of the first Barbies that they made out of an actual person. And she's from the movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and she is the character called Truly Scrumptious. I had her listed for $600, and um, I've had her listed for almost a year now, but someone came with an offer of $479 on a day where I hadn't sold very much in the last few days, so I went ahead and said, Sure, I'll take $479 for something I paid $20 for. So keep your eye out for Barbies. Barbie is definitely a bolo. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Courtney. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, everybody. I'm Kat Feeling Thrifty, and I'm a full-time reseller out here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari, and I go as Kat Feeling Thrifty on all three platforms. And yes, I'm eventually going to come to whatnot. I keep telling Courtney I'm going to do it, but I have the heebie-jeebies, but I will get it done. So my bolo this month is a painted pony called Dashing Through the Snow. And I picked it up at an online local auction for $15. I was excited because I knew I could sell it for over $100. Picked up the item, brought it home, unpackaged it, and one of the little ears was broken off. I was so sad. I called them up and they right away credited me and uh, told me to keep the item. And I was about to stick it in my yard sale box, and I thought, you know, I'm going to see if it'll sell. So I stuck it on eBay, and of course I disclosed the broken ear, and I put it up for $50. And sure enough, someone bought it within two weeks. So the moral of my story is, don't just throw out your broken things. Put it on eBay, see what happens. Can't hurt anything. As always, Courtney, thank you for everything you do for us, and all of you that put out videos to help us grow our business and to learn. Thank you to you all as well. I hope everybody has a great and prosperous week. 
Hi, Bolo Buddies. It's Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger. There's my YouTube channel. And I'm back with Buy the Weird Stuff. And this may not be as weird as you think. I think the light just went out in here. <laughs> so, in the last two hours of an estate sale, the same one I bought the calendars in from last month's, Courtney's last month video, go check that out. They had a set of these Christmas dishes, and they are Farberware Holiday Snowmen 4380. And I bought them a 39-piece set for a dollar. Yes, I've got those, and I'm in the process of shipping them, th this whole set, and I already have one box right there shipped. So, um, I listed them. What is it right now? It's May 30th. Um, and somebody messaged me and said they were interested in the whole set. Could I give them a price for it? So I did. I figured it all out. I gave them a price for it. Oh, heck. Um, I made a special deal with them for free shipping. I ended up selling this whole set to them for $344.00. 371 dollars and 52 cents all in Let's see if it'll it's not gonna do it I'll, I'll put a screenshot up there and so yeah um, I figured out shipping for them I am in the process of shipping on them go check my channel out and I'm going to do a video on this so thanks a lot Courtney I we appreciate everything you do and to all of you watching this Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, my name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel Reseller, and this is my Bolo. I went to an estate sale last month where I purchased a huge lot of vintage plush, most of them still with their original tags, some in their original box. This is a Heart to Heart Bear by Chosun. There's several in this series. They have a little heart in their side that when you press it, it makes a heartbeat sound. I paid about $2 for this item, and it sold today for $269.95. Hello, my name is Shelly, and I am Nana's Nickel on YouTube, my eBay store, Whatnot, and Poshmark. I am Shelly over on Mercari. Without further ado, this is my bolo. This is an Xbox cable from Intech. It is a cable that you use to hook up your screen, a color screen, to the Xbox. It's only about one foot long, and it was a freebie. And it sold for my asking price of $30 plus shipping in only two days. Next up is this Guitar Hero 3 sealed game for Nintendo Wii. This one I bought from a friend on Whatnot and it was in a lot with a bunch of sealed movies and so they were a dollar a piece and then after shipping it totaled up to be everything was a dollar eighty eight a piece. This one I listed it for thirty dollars and within ten minutes I got an offer for twenty dollars plus shipping. I took it. These aren't really big money bolos, but you gotta love those fast sales. Just want to say thanks again. Hi Courtney, it's Cher, Grin and Grandma. I'm Grin and Grandma on YouTube and all the other social media that I participate in, as well as eBay, that's my main online venue, Mercari and Poshmark, and a few others. But my bolo this time is actually a gag gift. Uh, I'm not saying anything about taste. It uh, is a little guy. I'll say that he interacts. But he's sitting on a toilet making noises. I got him at an estate sale. I think he was either five or six dollars, sold him for fifty plus shipping. He is going somewhere internationally, 
to another person who has bad taste. Thanks for all you do. All right, Bolo Buddies, what did you think about those Bolos? Pretty fantastic. Uh, these channels, these YouTube channels are fantastic. Please go give them a sub. Uh, show them some love with a sub. That is what I always say. And check out their eBay stores. All of that is linked down below, as I mentioned before. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. This is a whole series. So if you want to see more videos like this, I do have a playlist. Go check that out. Different people are featured in different videos. Uh, so you're going to learn a lot. Uh, we all have our things that we sell that we like to sell. And I can't believe I didn't show you guys a toy because that's my favorite thing to sell. But uh, anyway, let me know which one was your favorite. Maybe the one that you never even would have thought to have picked up. You would have walked right past. Put that down in the comments. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to me and everybody in the description of the video. And as always, thanks for watching.